Hello and welcome back. We're going to have a little look at a parity bit question. These often appear on O-level and IGCSE papers. Um, this, I think, is taken from maybe 2022. So you usually present with a table and you've got to identify where there is an error, where an error has occurred within the sending, the transmitting of bytes across the network. So eight bytes of data are transmitted from one computer to another. So each byte includes a parity bit. So it includes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits in the byte. It also includes a parity bit. Okay. The data is also sent with a parity byte. Yeah. Each bit in the parity byte allows a check to be performed on each column of bits. Okay. A parity check is performed on the data and an error is found in one of the bits. The table shows the data that has been received. Okay, so basically we're going to count the bits. Count the bits. Okay, for example, in byte one, we've got, we count, I'm going to count the ones. Yeah? One, two, three, four. Now they've not changed the parity bit. Okay, but in here we've changed the parity bit to a one. Why have we done that? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five. So looking at this, if these two are correct, I'm gonna go through some more. If these two are correct, so one, two, three, four in that one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six in that one. Here we've got one, parity bit again, one, two, three, four, five, six in that one. So by law of averages, we can say that the using even parity. Okay, we're using even parity. So we'll keep going down. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, maybe a problem here. One, two, three, four, five. We've added a parity bit, okay, but the the um the byte was already even. So that's five. Okay. Problem. Byte five. One, two, three, four. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I know it's quite boring. And then the parity bytes there. Okay, so it's definitely this one is a problem. Let me put a highlight across that. This is the problem. Okay, but then we've got to do a cross reference because it's saying here, yeah, the byte number, which is going to be by four. But then it wants the bit number as well. So somewhere in here, yeah, we need to make sure that first of all, these, this is using even as well, and which one of these rows doesn't add up to an even number. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even. One, two, three, four, five, six, even. One, two, three, four, even. One, two, three, four, five, six, even. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, maybe this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's definitely this one as well. Okay, so we can say the problem is here. Okay, the problem is there. So it's byte four, yeah, and bit five. So in terms of next, and this 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 question is for four marks. One mark for identifying the byte, one mark for identifying the bit, and then two marks for an explanation. Well, even parity is used for checking with the transmission. Count all ones to identify error. Okay, so that's how we get four marks on that. Nice and easy. We need to work out, it's, sometimes, it sometimes it tells you whether it's odd or even parity, which makes it even easier. In the case of this one, add them up, process of elimination, 
which is what are they using odd parity are they using even parity okay in this case they're using even parity so that's it so thank you very much indeed and i will see you next time for some more computer science tips okay bye for now um, thank you very much indeed for watching please continue to ask questions and leave your comments um, and leave your comments below hit notifications and subscribe please continue to ask questions leave your comments hit notifications and please subscribe now i've and finally um if you wish to buy me a coffee i've just set up buymeacoffee.com learning zone i'd be truly grateful um, thank you for visiting and i will see you next time and finally if you would and finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.